Good morning. Hello, neighbors, as Ken would say. But what I was really excited about, um, hormonal peeps, is that this recipe has five grams of protein in each muffin. Yay. Um, yeah, it's got 18 grams of carbs, but not 35 grams of carbs. So that's awesome and only 107 calories. Again, awesome. Um, that might be skewed a little bit because I don't have butter, buttermilk. I'm gonna make it with, I'm gonna make buttermilk. Have you guys ever made buttermilk? So three quarters cup buttermilk. So you start with three quarters cup of regular milk or I've got cream from a recipe we did a couple weeks ago. So I wanna use that up. So three quarters cup of milk. Have y'all ever made buttermilk? Anyway, you use either lemon juice then or vinegar. I got vinegar because what you use in your hair, you can use in the kitchen and what you use in the kitchen, you can use in the bathroom. There you go. It's about two teaspoons then of vinegar into the cream to curdle it, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. It's going to make buttermilk and this is going to be delicious. There's our oven. It has been preheated to 400 degrees. So cream, vanilla, Five minutes is what the recipe said. I'm gonna trust these online gurus, you know, because that's what you do, right? So we're getting buttermilk there. Yep, buttermilk. That'll be buttermilk. Phew. All right. I can't decide where you want to be. I think you want to be there. All right. So oat bran. A little over a cup. Oat bran, baking powder, and baking soda. Y'all know that baking powder and baking soda are different, right? It was one of those things I wasn't always clear on. So I just wanna make sure you know. Two teaspoons of baking powder. That's the one in the back of your cupboard that you go, oh shoot, you really need that? So, how's everybody doing on Wednesday? It's my day off. Normally I get up pretty early on my day off. Um, and I've already done a bunch of meditating and stuff. It's a kind of tired day. All right, quarter teaspoon baking soda. Cut that in half for an eighth teaspoon of baking soda. We're mixing that with the oat bran. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fork to stir the dry. So that's. The dry ingredients we'll add the nuts at the end get the soda and the oat bran all mixed in with the powder baking powder have you guys ever seen oat bran so it's not oatmeal right um i get the oat bran in the um in the bulk section but it's not oatmeal guys okay just want to make sure everybody knows Oat bran and oatmeal are not the same. So this is what makes the fiber content in here so high too, because three grams of fiber. Score. All right. Now we are going to add the buttermilk, the honey, the egg whites, and the vanilla extract. So um, you could use whole eggs, but I think it's going to affect the texture. So have you divided eggs before? I... Um, I can remember cracking my first egg. I don't know if Teresa's watching this, but she used to be my daycare lady. And I remember cracking my first egg with her. So I got two bowls here. So we can, and now I don't have an egg splitter. Crack it in half, let the white goo dump out of it. Um, now you can save the yolks for like a bread coating. I'll have to look and see what tonight's recipe is. You can save it for something else. I've got a pancake mix that calls for just egg yolks. So you can save them in the refrigerator for a day or two. I also used to use it as face stuff. You can do that too, right? Just saying, could be fun, but we don't need the yolks for this recipe. Right back. All right, 
yolks beside but oh shoot oh well we're gonna have extra eggs so it better be easy on that because you know two eggs and i'm half in the first bit. dang it oh well oh well vanilla we go to mexico pretty regularly so we buy our vanilla there seriously you should do that if you are a traveler at all this stuff smells delicious It comes in these humongous bottles. I've been working on this one for a while because I don't bake very often. Because, well, baking are in half of the honey. So it calls for half a cup, so a quarter cup. Um, so, honey tip. Today I use the bear. But, um, if you can, like I'm almost out of my raw honey for the season, so I'm a little sad about that. If you can use locally sourced raw honey, it will help you with your allergies. And during the winter, it helps with sore throats and sicknesses and stuff. So raw honey is a good thing, right? Especially locally sourced. So you can get locally sourced stuff. At farmer's markets, at co-ops, I stop at the lady in the the apple orchard in the fall and I get a lot of honey there. I try to stock up for the winter there. Is it as inexpensive as the honey bear? No. But is it worth every penny? Yes. Just saying. All right, so depending on how sweet you want it, how many calories you want to add, you probably didn't need to add all that honey, but I like it sweet. Hey, Patricia, how you doing? All right, blah, 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 blah. Buttermilk is still doing its thing over here. We've got the Oprah and baking powder, baking soda. We're gonna stir. We did, we're gonna add the buttermilk, the honey, the egg whites, and the vanilla to the mix. Okay, so I suppose I'll beat them things. Ah, egg whites, beat them up a little bit. So I threw the vanilla right in there with those. I'm gonna put that in with the oat bran. Honey. Anybody else got the day off today? I use day off pretty darn loosely in my world because I had to get up so that I can. Puppy's got to go to the chiropractor. I got a couple coaching calls. One to give, one to receive, right? Ken and I cook this afternoon at four, some lamb thing. That's what we ultimately settled on. Anyway, the reason the whole protein is so important, I want to make sure to bring that back in. So a couple things with this recipe that are really helpful for women in any hormonal stage. First of all, there's no gluten in here. Oat bran is not gluten. Um, let me double check what I added here. Oat bran is not full of gluten. Secondly, it's high in protein, right? And I've spent quite a bit of time saying, hey, let's get your protein up, right? You need your protein, you need your protein. First of all, it settles down the insulin, makes you feel full longer. All right, so here's what that cream and apple cider vinegar stuff looked like in order to make buttermilk. So you don't have to go out and buy a quarter of buttermilk when you need three quarters of a cup, right? Double checking that I'm adding the right amount in. Yes, okay. Add that all together. So, and sometimes you just want a muffin, right? Now, let's remember, and this is pretty good. Oh, garbage man, banger. She probably just said she can't be in the video, right? You guys know she's always in the videos. All right, let's stir that up quick. Back there, I've got the muffin tins. We're doing pecans today, because have them. Spray, olive oil. Always use olive oil when given the choice, guys. Well, between that and canola oil. Oh, again, super sad that I don't have blueberries, but this is going to be delish. I'll check back in with you in about 20 minutes when these come out of the oven. Until then, I look forward to seeing you again. Have a great Wednesday. Denise Wolf-Peterson making meals better.